days into the first war of the new year, it has so far killed over 600 people, and today dozens of civilians were killed in what may be a turning point in this latest violent chapter in the poisonous relationship between Israel and the small strip of land right next door called Gaza, home to 1.5 million Palestinians. U.S. television networks aren't being allowed in to see the story firsthand in Gaza, but the basic facts in this fight are clear, and we begin again tonight with our chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, in Israel. Richard, good evening. Good evening, Brian. UN officials say in the last 24 hours, Israeli forces have attacked three UN schools and a UN health clinic. But the most serious by far was today on a school in Jabalia. In the first chaotic moments, the men, women and children scrambled for safety. Some tried to help the wounded. The 350 Palestinians who had taken refuge in a United Nations school in Jabalia hadn't expected to be attacked. But just before sunset, a volley of Israeli mortars exploded by the school's outer wall, sending shrapnel flying. UN and medical officials estimate 40 people were killed, 55 wounded. Nearly all the casualties were just outside the school. 15,000 Palestinians are taking refuge in UN schools tonight, but some of them, Brian, are now starting to leave, not even feeling safe there. Brian? Richard Engel starting us off again tonight in Israel on the edge of Gaza. Richard, thanks.